Oh, God, go away, David. Not until you hear me out. You know, you were warned not to show your face here again. I'm sure security will enjoy rearranging it. I know where Kate is. Why don't you take your lies and crawl back down your hole? She looks just like you, Dixie. Get out, David. Fine. Didn't we once agree to try to be friends? Is this how you treat your friends? You trick them? You toy with them for fun? I don't believe a word you say. Would you like to see a picture of your little girl? Your psycho son went ballistic on me. This is, this is the, the night that you cracked J.R.'s skull open when he caught you breaking in here. You say tomato. Look, this picture is one of hundreds, maybe thousands of children that Madden was keeping track of. You're just using it to play your sick mind games on me. That could be. Except, I happened to find this kid. I saw her. Live and in person. I also tested her against Tad's DNA. Kate is, or is this some new form of torture you've dreamed up in that demented head of yours? Answer me, David. You'll never know. Have some compassion. This is my child you're talking about. No? Okay. Fine. Then let's just get it over with. Kill me? Go ahead. Do it. I'm ready. Do it! No. Oh, okay. Fine. Is that, that a little too messy for you? Here. Here. This is what you want, right? To watch the life drain out of me, to squeeze me until there's nothing left, and just do it! You know where my child is. You have to tell me. Do I, Dixie? Really? Why? Because I love you so much? Because you're a human being! At least you used to be! Oh, yeah, there was a lot of things I used to be. The man who cared for you. The man who would do anything for you, who loved you so much that he would even kill for you. You have no idea how much I cared. Oh, I don't believe that. From the second you came back to this town, you have done nothing but spit on me! You have rejected me over and over again. Do you have any idea how that made me feel? Well, maybe now you'll finally get it. You'll understand when you realize how cruel and empty your life can really be. Teach me a lesson, huh? Who are you? I loved you so much. I know, I know you did. I was the one. Dixie, I was the one who wanted to give you what no one else could. A chance at real happiness. A million chances. And you blew me off every single time. My God. I used to think you were an angel. What the hell was I thinking? Who am I? Who the hell are you? I'll tell you who you are. You're an ungrateful, unfeeling tease who has no idea how to love. David, I wish I could go back and change everything. I wish I could have been the person that you wanted me to be. I wish I could 
to heal all the pain that you feel that I caused you. I wish I could give you the love and the understanding that you so need. I wish I could bring back the little girl that you lost. You cannot keep me from mine. Please, David, tell me the truth. Do you really know where Kate is? Mommy, I can't sleep. Oh, oh baby girl. girl, come here. No. Oh, my I'll baby. tell you what. Oh. One federal tax code coming right up. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a magical land called Pine Valley with a beautiful princess named Emma. <gasps> and a very handsome prince named Spike, who were very destined, destined to bring joy and love and hot chocolate and marshmallows <laughs> to the entire kingdom. But first, they had to conquer the mean wolf who lived in the woods. I wanted you to hurt just like I did. You see, he did bad things to the people of Pine Valley. Such despair, heartache, all your dreams blown to pieces. I never thought I'd find Kate, but I did. And when I realized that it was truly her. I knew I had won. I could keep you from your little girl forever. So one day, the prince and the princess went to see the mean wolf to find out if he was really as mean as everyone said. Standing here right now, looking at you. I can't do it. It turned out he wasn't really mean. He was just lonely and very, very sad. <laughs> I thought the golden ticket had fallen right into my lap. The power to keep you from your little girl would set me free. But it won't. I'll just be living with that hate. Today, tomorrow, forever. And I just can't do it anymore. Maybe the, uh, the chance to have real revenge instead was given to me as a chance to make up to you. The wolf spoke, and they listened. And then they made peace. this a few weeks ago that is your daughter Dixie that is Kate <laughs> and everyone lived happily ever after Thank you, too. Uh, 